So already they have three cycles of the moon. They have three, they have a, a sense of pattern of what's secure, what's secure, what's not secure, what feels good, what's not good. And against that background of three of these moon cycles, Mercury has developed over three, over the one cycle over these three. And out of these three cycles, first it happens once, okay, oh, it happens again, happens a third time. After we've had experiences happen three times, you can almost start to predict them. And Mercury is the predictor. It's making sense out of things. It's recognizing patterns and habits, in feelings, in eating and security. If this happens, then this will happen, then this could happen, then this probably is gonna happen. It starts anticipating and building up this connections to the world and, and making plans about what's gonna happen or being intuitive to what's happened to what's going to happen. It starts figuring things out. Well, at, at three months old, how much are you figuring? But it's enough to be able to see like when a kid starts moving their hands around or they're looking around, you're starting to see, are oh, they alive? They're coordinating, they're healthy. Often someone, if someone has a mental problem or, 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 or a special problem when they're born that's affecting their mental capacities, you won't notice it till about three months or six months. You'll notice, oh, how come they're a little bit slow? How come they're not moving quite so fast? Or like you might see when, we're, when I'm standing up, when I'm not standing up, or when you, who's quiet. But really at three months, at the end of three months, going into the fourth month, it's the coordination, the movement, the curiosity, the agility, the, the, the move and the, the thinking that's involved in that and the seeing around the room and reacting to these things. This is what comes alive at the beginning of the Mercury cycle. And this ability to think about what's secure or what's not secure is very profoundly affected by what memories, good or bad, you have. If you had more bad or difficult memories, your thinking is going to become more difficult from that very early age. If you've had really good supportive memories, your thinking is going to have a natural sense of security behind the thinking. These are fascinating. You spend hours to contemplate any of these, but we're we're coming through this and we're going to be studying these cycles. So we have to see the roots of them. We're going to have to study them across all of them across a lifetime. So there's so much we can do. It's enough to live them. <laughs> so much going on. But anyways, this process goes on and Mercury clicks in one month. You, you can, in three months, that 88 days, we've learned and we start to see and start to coordinate. At six months, another cycle along, we start to, the coordination becomes even more and we're moving around much more. We're seeing, we're making sounds, we're listening. There's much more interaction, much more interreaction and planning and thinking about while the moods, the feelings are still going on, patterns are still going on, good or bad is there, secure, not secure is there, sensations are there. Mercury is trying to be alive to it all or be awake to it all. Very formative. Three Mercury cycles. Well, between two Mercury cycles and three, somewhere in that third Mercury cycle, a Venus cycle clicks in. It's about seven and a half months for Venus to go around. And so, okay, we have our mind developing. And as we're going on in our life, we make plans, we're thinking about our habits, what we're doing, how we're gonna live, how we're gonna eat, what we're gonna sleep, when we're gonna, how many cups of coffee do I have? How do I keep running? What do I gotta do? We got, we got a whole mental agenda. It's almost like we can't slow it down but it has its roots, it has its foundations. It, 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 you have your own unique perspective on life compared to what you can. When you compare it to other people, everybody's different. You know, my philosophy in life is if you get close enough to anybody, they're gonna look weird. If they don't, I mean, we're all so different. We're also uniquely experienced from our point in space and time that we were born at. Most of the people in the world live within 50 miles of where they were born. It takes some major crisis to make things move outside of that orb. And why so much happening to us in our living and our being and our eating and sleeping, whatever, all these things, it, it focuses our life's attention in this body, in this moment, not around what's happening all around the world. We may get more thinking about that more as we're older, but this stuff is still going on. So we get our Mercury cycle going on, which is that nine, that 88 day cycle, three month cycle. Really, as we're older, we learn things in three month cycles. 
we have a semester, three month cycles. We have a TV season, three months, three months. If you put it long, if you put a course longer than three months, it doesn't work. People's attention span don't hold. They say we have to break it up into three month pieces. It's how we think. It's how we assimilate ideas. It's how we watch the patterns evolving. And we're living in the in a course for a month, and then we next month, next month. By the time we got through three months, it's enough of a, it's gone into our habits. It's gone in, but the curiosity, the ideas don't just want to stay there. They want other things. So, in often in astrology, I think astro Mercury is just the way you think. It's not, just, but it's the way you coordinate. It's your nervous system. It's your alertness to the moment. It's your really. It's how awake are you in the moment? How spaced out are you? Or how slow are you? How fast are you? Whoa. We all have this indication of people who are hyped up faster than us or slower than us or moving too fast, doing, talking too much, or just so many things. But that's the outer symptoms of Mercury. The inner core is still linked up to the habits. If you're going to have clear thinking, you've got to have a, a stable lifestyle and basically good habits. If you get bad habits, it's going to mess up your thinking. From month one on okay but in this process of having experience of feeling secure not going through the changes feeling secure not secure and beginning to think about it and develop the thinking about it while this is going on there's another process going on it's venus and venus is this um seven and a half month cycle and venus is something is your principle of your self-worth, your values, what you like, what you don't like. It's the choices you make in your life. It's the things you want or like, I love this. I hate this. I like this. I want this. I can't, I can't. I'm disgusted. I don't want that. I like this person. I don't like this person. I like this person. No, I don't like them anymore. I want this. I can't have this. I gotta have this. I gotta get, give me, give me, give me, get, get, get. Want, want, want. This is Venus. Venus is never different. Venus always selecting this is nicer than this this is better than this this is not as good as this as an adult it's difficult to go from a 50 dollars bottle of wine back down to a beer something's wrong it's not going the same way and the venus would react to those situations to be smiling as you want somebody to smile at someone if you get it even better if you don't get it you're not going to be smiling much this liking and disliking this choosing the selecting and something our style, our taste in life, our values. This is Venus. And Venus is the choice. We, we, oh, it's our tastes, our aesthetics, our tastes in life. So taste, that from the minute we start eating, what we taste. We like some things, we don't like some things. Taste is the strongest, brings about the strongest memories. We remember taste more than anything else. You don't believe it? Go taste some baby food. You know, some of that canned mush. You know, you taste it, you'll remember it. You remember why you, why you like the desserts and why you didn't like the carrots or why you didn't like the beef or the meat or whatever. Like, those are vivid memories that are very powerfully there to affect the thinking. So this texture is already... The day is going on with its changes. The moon's collecting the experiences. The Mercury's trying to make sense of it or being alert to what's happening and what anticipating what could be happening so it could get. And Venus is coming along saying, this is good, this is good. And Mercury's saying, this is going a difficult way. And Venus is saying, oh, I don't like the way that's going. I want something different of this. And it tries to seduce the Mercury to think differently. It tries to put its agenda of what it wants in with the way one thinks so that one can adjust one's lifestyle and one's habits to get what one wants. Well, or one can be not getting what one wants or one has bad habits, one's not thinking well and one's not feeling loved or worthwhile. These are going to be effect on the choices a person makes. Since they're very primal things of working with the inner planet, Moon, Mercury, Venus, but they connect in like this. So two and a half cycles of Mercury and after the second cycle, we get the Venus cycle comes in, but the third cycle of Mercury, the Venus cycle has started. Or it's completed, you've completed the first Venus cycle. And you'll see it in the kid because by then, around seven, eight, seven, eight months, nine months, the kid, and it really develops steadily from that point on, the kid develops a sense of this is mine, gibby. They want to grab things. They want, they like things. They spit out things they don't like. They, they're having a strong sense of 
what they like or what they don't like, what they want, of being happy or not happy. They learn to embellish their crying or not crying, or happiness or not happiness, and tastes. So each cycle of Venus starts at seven, but you're going to start to see, like, at 15 months, you have the next cycle goes by, and by 15 months, that's 15 moon cycles. You know, that's 150 day cycles. Stuff's going on. It's not just, they're all happening at the same time and interpenetrating each other. But Venus is developing values. So as you get older, mine, give me, this is mine. I want this. I hate this. I like this. I don't like, I gotta have this. I don't want to go to bed. I want to stay up. I want to do that. Venus wants things and likes things or hates things or doesn't want things. Is happy, is satisfied, or is not satisfied or not content. Go oh, after you've eaten something nice, has nice food, your body gets content, the moon gets peaceful, and your mind relaxes, and you can be content. But if you're not fed well, if you're not content, the discontent of Venus, it's huge at any age. You know, like, I mean, no kid can study if they aren't eating. This is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you're not feeling physically okay, if you're not sleeping right, if you don't have basic, if you're not eating regularly and sleeping regularly, how can you go to school and study? Much less be happy. You know, that's why that song, Don't Worry, Be Happy, Don't Worry is the Moon, worrying with uh, little needs and securities. Being happy, well, that's Venus. Well, this is nice. We're happy when we have the dessert. But we can't always get the dessert before the meal or instead of the meal. But this attraction, liking things, disliking things, it starts conditioning. So the Mercury is making sense of the past and memories and habits and tuning into the habits and patterns. But at the same time, it begins to become affected by the Venus. And it starts to think, well, if I want to get this, if this is what I want, how do I juggle my behavior or my habits? Will I get it? Will I not get it? It starts to work through this cunning of how to manipulate or think or get what one wants or interpret whether one's getting what one, not, what one wants or what one's not. Um, a couple of times in my life I went back and I read baby books, Dr. Spock and a few different books of the stages you go through in life to see how they were connecting to these cycles. Well, there was one book, remember, anyways. but. You can see these phases coming in as a person comes along. And there's many different systems of how kids should be brought up or how it should believe, many different beliefs of how to, if you set in a religious pattern early, maybe it'll be the, like, it does depend on how your parents were living. But you gotta remember, we didn't get here because our parents are saints. We got here because they weren't saints and they gave us the opportunity for life. Whoa. Okay. So by now, by the time we're seven months, by the time we're a year, when we have one whole orbit of the sun, of the earth around the sun, one year, sun cycle, we call it in astrology, a solar return, but it's really the earth going around the sun. By then, we've had 12, 13 moon cycles. We've had um, four Mercury cycles. And we've had almost two Venus cycles, you know, like, so then our sun comes in and we, we, it becomes our birthday. We've been around a year. We've gone through all the four seasons. We've experienced that from whatever perspective, whatever family we have, whatever health we have, whatever rich or poor, whatever relationship in nature we had, we've been through the first year of our life. That's normal to us. There's our basic instincts there and our basic complexes. See, the chart when you're born, that's your pure potential. But that chart when you're born, it's also the transits around your parents, in your, around your parents' charts. So your chart is your potentials in your nature, but it's also the circuit. If there's a difficult thing in your chart, it's the difficulty was there between your parents at the time you were born. They were dealing with things like that and you here you came. <laughs> 